welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sarah and this is My Blessed Kitchen. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious crab ragoon. It's super easy, super delicious. And if you wanna know how I make this recipe, just stay with me and let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started on our ingredients. We're gonna need one can of crab meat, wonton wraps, one serrano pepper, one garlic clove, one teaspoon of rice wine vinegar, one teaspoon of accent, a quarter of a teaspoon of sesame oil, one bunch of scallions, one block of cream cheese. You'll either need vegetable oil or corn oil for frying. All right, let's go ahead and start prepping. All right, we can go ahead and start mincing our garlic. I'm just using a grater because it's much easier just to get it super fine. Then we'll do the same with the serrano pepper. If you don't want the spice, then you don't have to use the serrano pepper. But for me, this is amazing in this recipe. Okay, just scrape that down. With your scallions, we're just gonna cut these really, really small. Okay, and with your crab, just drain it and it has a little paper in there. Okay, just take that out. For your cream cheese, you wanna make sure that it's at room temperature. If you can't get it to room temperature before you need to cook, just put two cups of water in the microwave for about a minute. After you take it out of the microwave, sit the cream cheese inside of the water and just let it come to room temperature where it's gonna be easy to, to mix. Now we'll go ahead and add in our rice wine vinegar, our sesame oil, our accent, chicken bouillon, then go ahead and add in your crab. And you have the paper on the bottom too, so be careful. Okay. Then you wanna add your garlic, your chili, and your onions. And just mix. We'll add a little black pepper. Make sure everything is mixed. You taste if it needs anything. I think it's perfect, but if you need to add more salt or you want more spice, you can absolutely do that. All right, let's go ahead and get started on filling it. All right. Get these out here. They're really simple to do. You're just gonna put just a smidgen. Okay. All I like to do is just to get it wet with some water, just around the edges after I put the filling in, okay? Don't clamp them together just yet, okay? Once you have them this way, then you're just gonna pinch the edges. I don't even know what you would call this shape. Just a shape. <laughs> okay, that's it. And then we'll do another one together. Actually, we'll do a few together. Make sure you have them all up first before you crimp. Okay, they're all up. Now we'll go in and pinch together. Can you see what I'm doing? That's it, they're just all pinched, so nothing's gonna escape when we're cooking. And we'll just put them to the side. Okay, don't pinch them yet. Just bring them all together first. Now we can, we can crimp them. Make sure your edges are pinched. You are good. Okay. We'll tuck this guy in. Now we'll pinch. And on this side. And remember, you don't wanna overstuff these because if you do, you're gonna have the cream cheese coming out in your pan and it's gonna make a mess and start, start popping everywhere. If you tear one, it's okay, just throw it out and start another one. And make sure that you don't have the cream cheese on the outside. If you do, just start that one over again. It'll just help you in the long run. Are we ready to go to the fryer? All right, let's go. All right, you wanna make sure you have your cooling rack so they won't get soggy, and just a paper towel on the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and put them in. We'll put them on a medium high. Let's try to put another one in there. Okay. 
This is just like a saucepan. So I put maybe two cups of corn oil. If you want to hold them down, you can. And you don't want the heat on very high. I have mine on a number five. And they're ready. And just remember when you take them out, the oil is so hot, they're still cooking. Okay, when you take them out. So they're still gonna turn a little dark. And these are these are crispy, so they're ready. Alright, so we'll see you back here once everything is already finished. And you know what time it is. The best part. The taste test. Look at that. It's so delicious, perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on My Blessed Kitchen. Una prueba de placer. de placer Siempre que estoy a tu lado Lo que siento 